an actress like Amanda Peet, who you worked with early on in her career, did you have a feeling that she would become a well-known, successful actress, or is it one of those things that you just never know? Uh, you know, it, it, it's um, that particular particular picture, Animal Room, which I was an exec producer on. It was very clear that you know she was super talented. She was also super nervous. Um, oh, really? It was a low-budget thing. It was her first, very first feature, uh, but you could tell. I mean, really, that she had that special something that the camera loves. You know. Um, I, I saw that with John Leguizamo. Uh, I, I directed him in his first starring role in an action movie called Street Hunter. Uh, and you could just tell when, when he came into the audition that, you know, this guy had it. His particular case um, was kind of interesting because uh, he was very frustrated at that time about the kind of roles he was getting. You know, pretty much, you know, gangbangers and drug dealers. Yeah. Um, which, which is what he played in my film. And uh, we would actually go out on the weekends into Central Park with the old clunky old camcorders, and he would do, uh, you know, m these kind of characters that he, you know, that he knew growing up in his neighborhood. He would take uh, the tapes home at night, write down the good stuff, throw out the bad. That was the genesis of his first one-person show, Mambo Mouth, that, that you know, put him, you know, up into, uh, up into the stratosphere and being able to control, you know, have some, some control over what, you know, what you do, you know, which is, I think is the goal of a lot of actors. Uh, coming up next for me, uh, watch next, next uh, January, February for a 3D horror movie, Digger 3D. Uh, super fun, um, followed by Fickle, which is a romantic gangster comedy. Uh, both star Frank Vincent, uh, best known as Billy Bats and Goodfellas. And uh, for Chance TV, this is John Gallagher. Take a chance.